The course we're running this week is called Business Dynamics, and what it does is introduce people over the course of four and a half days to a technique for solving complex problems here uh, called System Dynamics, which actually uh, was invented here at MIT, and we've been cultivating it for uh, in the past 50 years or so. And what it really is is to help people make sense of the complexity that you find in modern organizations and to intervene in them more effectively. The uh, Business Dynamics course in MIT Executive Education is designed for people that are managers and leaders in their organization and have gotten to the point where many of the tools that they have in their current toolbox that they might have gotten from past education really not cutting it anymore. And they're finding that the problems they're dealing with are more difficult and not amenable to a lot of the traditional solutions. And so what we do is give people a framework to think about how they can take better advantage of the tools they already have to confront the complexity that they will face as they move up to more senior levels in the organization. In the Business Dynamics course here at MIT, uh, you can really think of the course as proceeding along two tracks which is the first track is we're trying to cultivate uh, people's skills with the system dynamics tool set. So we teach them some process for intervention, we teach them some mapping tools, and we introduce them into some computer-based simulation tools to think about complex problems. But rather than doing that in kind of a standard, just lecture fashion with lots of equations on the board, we tried the second track is to introduce a variety, the tools in the context of a variety of specific examples so they can take some lessons back for practice. So some of the big topics we cover is we spend quite a bit of time on supply chain management, how you think about running effective supply chains. We think about marketing oriented problems, particularly around launching a new project. We spend a whole day on large scale project management because managing projects is really the cornerstone of implementing a strategy. And then the last big area is we spend quite a bit of time on service management. So not everybody in our course comes from a manufacturing based company, many are in service based kinds of operations. And so we spend a good, uh, good solid chunk of time thinking about how do you run a real high performance service organization that satisfies the customers that you have. Well, I think for system dynamics, the reason you would come to MIT executive education for this is actually the tool set was invented here and I think we can claim, you know, with any pretense of modesty aside, that uh, we are both the birthplace and probably the center of expertise in this and it's actually a topic that's really hard to find anywhere else and so it's a uniquely MIT um, tool set and really I don't think there's any place else you could get it at the depth and rigor that we can offer you here and also the practical application. My research at MIT is motivated by one basic fact uh, and that is is when you look at the aggregate data it turns out that there are more tools out there that uh, than there are organizations that actually use them. Uh, so the problem I really study is how do organizations take advantage of the tools and the knowledge that they have already accumulated. And just to give you one example of, of that problem, uh, several of my graduate students recently have done studies of warranty expense in manufacturing firms. Uh, and the common thinking is, is that when you have a big warranty problem, it's because something in the technology surprised you and uh, you know, there's some gap in your technical knowledge. And actually what my students have been finding is most of the problems that cause big warranty issues were actually known about well before the product was launched to the market. So the information was actually in the organization, but somehow it wasn't used in a manner that allowed them to solve the problem in advance. So the topic I study is a general case of that, which we call implementation. So how do you take the knowledge you have and implement it and use it? Um, and we've made, I think, some substantial progress in understanding that. So a lot of my research comes directly into the classroom. For example, today we're talking about project management and a lot of the research we've done on that is going directly into some of the activities that people are working on. So I think that the course is very well designed in particular for uh, people that maybe started on a technical track in their jobs. They might have been a scientist or an engineer and because of their success they're now moving into a more managerial position. And in particular the system dynamics tool set uh, proves to be a great way for people with technical backgrounds to think about organizational issues. Because we use metaphors from feedback and stocks and flows that people will have experience maybe in the physical systems that they designed or sold or maintained to understand how humans and human organizations work. And so we found, and I think one of the things that continually surprise us is um, how useful a perspective this is for introducing people with technical backgrounds to some of the more so-called softer psychological and organizational issues.